My name is Arzu Altanay. Uh, I live in Istanbul. I'm a professional tour guide and I have a um, career in cultural heritage. I have a company called Walks in Europe, which is established in Estonia through their scheme called e-residency. We have a saying in Turkish, I bet the correct horse. Until 2015, we had a bloom in tourism in Istanbul. We thought we hit the jackpot. One day in 2015, everything just stopped working. And it happened very dramatically. Our clients stopped coming to Turkey. Even if I was able to reach my clients, the ones that I was able to reach, they weren't able to pay me because PayPal stopped operating. So I had to find somewhere else to run this business. I did a lot of search. I checked a lot of countries. I applied for startup accelerators. But the problem is not an industry that these developed European countries wanted to invest into. So through my research, one day, it's I, I still remember it. I saw the Estonian e-residency website. It's like this website asking all the correct questions to me. It answered all of my business needs. E-residency is a program that's supported by the Estonian government. It lets entrepreneurs run a company and accept international payments. So the e-residency uh, program has worked very well for my business model. So when I first applied, their reply was very, very quick, very efficient and very easy to understand. It's, it's a very strange uh, relief from my side because it happened so quickly and I didn't have to go to Tallinn. The only reason I had to go was to open the bank account, which now we don't have to. I'm, I'm always selling more than one tour every day. This is how the company flourished. Last year, I had bookings from my former clients from all around the world. Whoever traveled to Europe, they booked through my new company, which is wonderful. It gave me lots of confidence. Anyone who is thinking about establishing a company through e-residency, the only thing I'm going to tell them is just do it. It's worth it, it's easy, and it is working.